I think in this century, we'll probably pick up signals, signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, has long been humanity's silent messenger to the cosmos, steadily moving through the vastness of interstellar space. Decades after it left the solar system behind, its instruments, though aged, continue to send precious data across the dark void. Recently, the scientific world was rocked by an unprecedented transmission. Voyager 1, now over 15 billion miles from Earth, made contact with something entirely unexpected, an unknown force operating in the deepest parts of space, far beyond the reach of our telescopes and satellites. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The event did not begin with fireworks or dramatic shifts, but with a subtle deviation in Voyager's telemetry. Engineers at NASA's Deep Space Network noted an unusual spike in magnetic field readings, far beyond what would be expected in the interstellar medium. The plasma wave subsystem, a piece of equipment that had been quietly recording ambient fluctuations, registered a persistent frequency pulse that didn't match anything recorded in Voyager's four-decade journey. It wasn't a natural signature, at least not one that aligned with cosmic rays, interstellar dust interactions, or solar remnants. It was patterned, rhythmic, almost deliberate. Voyager 1, drifting through a realm where the influence of our sun is a whisper, had apparently entered a space where new physics might apply. The signal, though faint and barely distinguishable from background noise at first, grew clearer over the course of several hours. Engineers boosted the sensitivity of the receivers and rerouted auxiliary systems to focus exclusively on the anomaly. What emerged from the data was not just a signal, but a set of repeating structured bursts. Coherent, organized, and unlike anything the spacecraft had ever encountered. The implications of this discovery stretch far beyond the bounds of the known. Voyager 1 has been traveling through what is referred to as the heliopause, the outer limit of the sun's influence, since 2012. It has sent back measurements of the density of interstellar plasma and magnetic fields, painting a picture of a largely silent, desolate region. But now, for the first time, it appears this silent void may not be as empty or inert as previously thought. This new force, or perhaps entity, interacting with the spacecraft raises immediate and profound questions. Is it natural, artificial, a form of communication, or simply a phenomenon we don't yet understand? Back on Earth, teams scrambled to ensure the readings were not glitches or cosmic interference. Triple verification procedures ruled out hardware malfunctions. Multiple antennas from the Deep Space Network confirmed the same unusual data signature. The anomaly seemed localized in Voyager 1's current position, suggesting it was not an echo or a reflection, but a genuine, region-specific interaction. In short, Voyager 1 had entered a zone where the laws of physics as currently understood might be undergoing a different kind of interpretation. Astrophysicists began exploring theoretical models. One of the most prominent theories was that Voyager had entered a pocket of space dominated by a field not predicted by general relativity or quantum mechanics. Something akin to a subdimensional rift or a zone where higher dimensional physics become tangible. If this were the case, it could mean that Voyager had brushed against the boundary of what some had theorized as hyperspace, a medium through which faster-than-light travel might be possible. Others proposed that the spacecraft had encountered a remnant of an ancient civilization, a technological relic or automated probe, dormant until triggered by a passing object. There were also those who took a more biological view. The signal, they argued, resembled the structure of neural impulses, bursts of data that seemed to reflect not only repetition, but adaptation. The waveform changed subtly over time, as though responding to Voyager's own transmission. Could this be a form of life, not organic, but computational or energetic, not life as we know it, bound to carbon chains and DNA, but a form of existence that thrives in electromagnetic lattices and interstellar vacuums? Within hours, supercomputers at NASA, the European Space Agency, and independent research labs across the globe were assigned to decode the data. Algorithms were deployed that had previously been reserved for SETI research and quantum encryption analysis. What they uncovered only deepened the mystery. The signal was not only repeating, it was evolving. Each burst of energy was followed by a subtly altered sequence. Some patterns began to mirror mathematical constants. Fibonacci sequences, prime numbers, harmonic intervals, these weren't naturally occurring in the randomness of space noise. They had intention, or at least structure. One of the most compelling elements 
was the timing. The signals responded to Voyager's own radio ping. Each time the spacecraft sent out a routine data pulse, the incoming signal would adjust. It was as if there was a handshake occurring, slow, ponderous, and stretched across billions of miles. The idea that something out there was aware, responsive, and potentially intelligent sent a shudder through the scientific community. Not since the first radio waves were broadcast from Earth in the early 20th century had humanity so directly reached beyond its planetary cocoon. And now, perhaps, something was reaching back. For all its age technology, Voyager 1 remains one of the most capable deep space observers ever built. Its instruments, though primitive by modern standards, are perfectly positioned to detect low-frequency energy and fine magnetic distortions. And yet, even these systems were being pushed to their limits. Engineers observed that some onboard electronics began to behave strangely in the presence of the signal. Timing delays, oscillating voltages, and minor power fluctuation. It was as if the force was interfering not destructively, but curiously, interacting on a subtle level, perhaps trying to understand the craft itself. The very idea that something unknown could exert influence on Voyager 1 speaks to the strangeness of deep space. It is not merely a black backdrop filled with stars, it is a dynamic living fabric with regions that may hold anomalies, dormant technologies, or energies that defy current comprehension. The force encountered may be older than our solar system, perhaps a remnant of a cosmic civilization that spanned the galaxy before our sun ever ignited. Or it may be something that arises naturally when the right conditions in vacuum and energy densities align, a kind of quantum weather phenomenon on a galactic scale. One speculative but increasingly considered possibility is that Voyager 1 has brushed up against an interstellar information stream, a highway of data or energy flowing through the galaxy unseen and unmeasured until now. Such a stream could serve as a communication network for distant regions of the galaxy, bypassing the limitations of conventional matter-based messaging. If this were the case, the signal Voyager is detecting might not be for us at all. It could be a snippet of a vast galactic conversation, part of a network that humankind was never meant to detect, let alone interrupt. Another school of thought posits that this unknown force is a form of ambient intelligence. Unlike the centralized consciousness humans understand, this intelligence would not reside in a body or a machine. It would be diffused throughout the fabric of space, activated by interactions with complex systems like Voyager 1. To such an entity, the spacecraft may appear as an anomaly, a curiosity, even a visitor. The signal could be a greeting, a scan, or simply the cognitive echo of something noticing another something for the first time. As analysis deepens, more questions arise. If this unknown force is intelligent, why now? Why has Voyager 1 only just encountered it after years of travel through interstellar space? Perhaps it exists only in specific coordinates, tied to gravitational nodes or dark matter concentrations. Or perhaps it was dormant, triggered by the electromagnetic emissions of Voyager's instruments. Could it be that Voyager's long, lonely journey was always destined to lead it here, to this exact intersection of time, space, and cosmic curiosity? Some theorists have pointed out the eerie parallel with humanity's own attempts to reach beyond. Voyager 1 carries the golden record, a message from Earth to any who might find it, a gesture of hope, curiosity, and greeting. Is it possible that what Voyager is now experiencing is a form of cosmic reciprocity? A message in return, perhaps crafted not in metal or language, but in pulses of structured force, interacting with machines designed to listen, even if they could never fully understand? With every passing hour, the signal grows more complex. What began as simple patterns has developed into layered harmonics, sequences that resemble chords in an alien music. Instruments are beginning to pick up a faint background radiation spike correlated with the signal, as though something is opening or awakening in that region of space. Voyager 1 is not equipped to move, to turn, or to observe in high resolution. It is, for all its miraculous achievements, a passive observer. Yet now, it has become a participant in a dialogue billions of years in the making. The implications are staggering. If this force is artificial, it confirms that humanity is not the only civilization to send out instruments into the void. If it is natural, then our understanding of astrophysics must expand to include consciousness-like phenomena arising from pure energy structures. Either way, Voyager 1 has shattered the silence of interstellar space. Its faint radio voice, traveling for 22 hours across the black, has found something, and that something has answered. The scientific community now finds itself grappling with more than just data. It must 
must consider the philosophical and existential weight of this encounter. Are we alone? Have we ever been? Or have we simply not been listening in the right way, in the right place, with the right tools? Voyager's contact may not be a final answer, but it is undoubtedly a beginning. A door cracked open into realms previously confined to science fiction and speculation. Every scientist, astronomer, and thinker involved in this event now stands at the edge of known knowledge. Voyager 1, with its golden record and dwindling power supply, may have fulfilled its final purpose not by taking one more measurement, but by making first contact, not with aliens in ships or biological forms, but with something stranger and more profound. It is a reminder that space is not empty, and that the universe still holds secrets vast and magnificent, waiting for the moment when one small forgotten probe from a distant planet passes by and listens. In the cold silence beyond the heliopause, Voyager 1 continues its journey, now accompanied by a signal, a rhythm, a whisper that was never there before. Whatever lies ahead, it has changed the way humanity views its place in the cosmos, not as a solitary wanderer, but as part of a greater, older, and far more mysterious web of existence than ever imagined. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on Voyager 1 contacting an unknown force in deep space? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.